Hi everyone, my name's Emma. Today we're going to be doing a bar class using one slider. So I call these sliders, um, and we will call them discs. Uh, so if you have them, go and grab them. Uh, if you don't have sliders, you can do this workout with uh, nice fluffy socks if you have them handy and if you have tiles or floorboards. Um, otherwise, if you have carpet and you have paper plates, uh, you can do this with a paper plate. Um, yeah, so just whatever you have kind of handy at home. Grab your support as well. So if you have a chair um, or if you have a kitchen bench top or a tabletop or a ballet bar, whatever you can uh, use just to hold on to, you can actually do this workout without a support as well. You just have to really, really engage your core just to make sure that you're not um, falling over the place. Of course, you've got to engage your core with your chair as well. It's just sometimes nice to have that extra support. All right, guys, nothing else needed for today. Just your beautiful self. And actually, you don't need your beautiful mat today. So just your beautiful self and the other props. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, guys, grabbing your one slider and popping it down onto the floor. So we are going to start facing the bar or facing your support. And we're going to work through just one side first and then we'll flip over to the other side. So making sure that your core is nice and engaged, tuck your tail under, just a light touch of the bar here. We're going to bend through our legs and we're just going to bring that slider back, come into a really low lunge, use your abdominals to lift back up. So we bend through that front leg, then we straighten it as we lift up. We bend and straighten, good. Bend and straighten, nice. So like you just saw here, I was putting too much weight on the chair. So you don't wanna to put too much weight because the chair will kind of come up if you have a lighter chair like I do. So make sure that you're really engaging through your core. You're really shooting through that front leg to zip up. So zip up, engage through those glutes. Good. Make sure your knee is also tracking over your middle toes as well. So we're in a nice alignment here. I just did it again. <laughs> Good. Let's do three. Two. Last one. Hold it back from the pulses here. Just a little press back, a little press back. So this is a bit like reformer bloody. So if you're into reformer, um, you're going to love this. <laughs> It'll give you a really nice bend. We have three. Two and one, nice work, coming back up. We're going to go back out this time, engage through your core, transfer your weight with your tippy toe onto your uh, slider, lift up that leg, come into your arabesque, tap down and then lift up. We do that again. Find your slider and lift up. Good, keep your core nice and engaged. Make sure your hip bones are facing down towards the floor as you lift up. So we're in a parallel position. We're not turning up through the turning, um, turning out through the hip here. Good. Keep your glutes nice engaged. Nice control. Lift with that leg as well. Don't just flick it up. Good. And last one. Good. Lift it up. Hold. Just pulse with the leg. Pulse with the leg. Good. We have four, three. Two, and one. Can we keep that leg lifted? Just pulse through that bottom leg. So the standing leg. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice so work. Drop that back foot down. Now coming into your uh, skater. Your skater? Yeah. No, your scooter. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> good. So you're just bringing that back leg in and in. Keep bouncing or bending through that front leg. You can do this as quick or as slow as you like. This is almost like a knee repeater as well. Good, so you can take this really slow if you'd like, or if you want that heart rate up, and really burn through those legs, you can do this really nice and quick. Good, we have four, three, two, and one. Next work, coming up, give those legs a nice little shape. This time, we're going out to the side. We're making sure that our foot is still facing towards the front. So we're not turning out here. We are facing towards the front. So we go out, we come back in. Coming out and come back in. Keep your core nice and engaged. I'll show you from the front. 
So we come out and in, we come out and in. So our knee is tracking over our toe. If you look at this foot, my foot is facing towards the front. Okay, so we're not coming out like this. The foot is facing towards the front. It might feel a little bit strange, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> Good. We have four. Nice. Three. Two. Last one, hold it out. Little pulses here. Good. We have four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Lifting up. This time, we're bringing that leg behind us. I'm just going to show you from the front for now. Bring that leg behind us. Then we sink down and bring it right behind us. So you can see. It's like on a, coming out on a diagonal. That knee is still tracking over your toes, and then we lift up. We bring it behind, we sink down, and then we lift up. Bring it behind, sink down, then lift back up. Good, I'll show you from the back. So bring it behind, sink down, lift back up. Use your core, don't just rely on that bum, guys. So really using your core, really pushing up from the legs here. Being really nice and strong. Good. You can do this. Good. And the last one, let's hold it back. Just little pulses here. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. Coming back up. Let's add those two movements together now. So we come out to the side, back to center, bring it around, press it out. Good, back in, out to the side, back to center, round and out, in, out, in, round and down. Takes a little bit of coordination. Good, I'll show you from the front. So, out, in, around and back. Good, out, in, around and back. One more. And back hold, just more pulses for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, just pulse that to the side for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Keep those legs, a nice little shake out. Let's go straight to the other side. So bringing your uh, slider onto the other leg, we come back into those lunges. So coming straight down here, and then zip up. Straight down here. And then zip up. Good. So keeping those hips facing towards the back here. Keep engaging through your core. Good. Tumor. And the last one. When you're ready, hold it back. Pulse in here. Good. Keep going. Good, we have four, three, two, and one. Coming up, shake it out. Coming back, we're ready to go into that arabesque. So we will lift up, tap down, Ooh, find your slider, and come back up. We go out, lift, lower, and back. Out, lift, control, lower, and out. Good, up, sorry. Good. Lift up, two more. Good. Last one. And lift up, down, out. Sorry, we should just stay up there then, but it's better. Lift up now. Hold up. Little pulses here. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, grab onto, actually, I'm going to keep that leg out. Up, bend through that standing leg. Now let's go one by one. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, grab onto that slider. Coming into your scooter, bring that knee in. Engage through your core, guys. So we're working through our lower abdominals here. That knee coming in. Again, you can do this really nice and slow as well. Nice and controlled. Good. Keep going. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Coming up, 
Facing towards the butt again, that leg comes straight out and then you lift up. Again, I'll show you from the side. So you come out and in and out and in. Again, make sure that that foot is facing towards the front of the room rather than it being turned out. Good. Out and in and out and in. Sometimes I do turn out that leg, but we'll just do something different today. <laughs> Good. Two more. Last one, hold it out and pulses. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice work coming up. Now we have that um, curtsy. So bring that leg behind you. We come down and then we lift back up. Bring that leg behind you. We come down and then we lift back up. So as you can see, you can do this without a bar as well. Come back to my bar, bring it back around. Coming down and lifting up. Good. Around, down, and lift back up. Two more. Good. Last one. And you're going to hold it down. Little pulses here. Keep going. Keep breathing. Make sure there's a knee. That knee is trying to get your toes. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Lifting up. Let's do that combo. So bend through your knees. Out and in. Around, down. And up, whoops, out, and in, round, down, and up. I'll shift from the side. So out, and in, around, down, and up. Good. Out, and in, around, down, and up. Keep going here. Keep nice and get through the floor. Good. Two more. Oops, I put that out now. Then, <laughs> good. And the last one, hold it back, hold it back, pulse for five, three, two, and one. Lifting up, bring that leg out to the side, and pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, wow. Awesome work, guys. Give those legs. A nice little shake out. Awesome, awesome work today. I hope you enjoyed that nice little leg burner. It's always good fun working with the slider. Um, yeah, have a little stretch out now, guys. Your legs might feel a little bit burning and sore, which is fabulous. Um, if you have any requests for any other workouts, please make sure that you uh, write, in, write in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Awesome work again today, guys. I will see you later. I'm really pumped out now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>